Yo what's going on guys, welcome back to another video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an awesome curved text effect in Filmora, just like in After Effects. It's super easy to do, so let's jump into Filmora and get started. And be sure to explore the Filmora Creator Hub for tons of tips, tutorials, and resources to enhance your video editing skills. You can access the Creator Hub on both PC and mobile, so don't forget to check it out. Okay, let's get into the video. Alright guys, first you need to add your clips to the timeline. As you can see, I've already arranged both my audio and video clips like this. The first thing we need to do is add captions. To add captions, simply select your audio layer and choose the speech to text tool in the toolbar. Here, you can adjust the settings as you like. Make sure to select titles as the output, then hit OK to create the captions. Now we have our captions. If you have long text layers, you can split them into a few parts like this. Next, let's change the font style and text size. Select all the text layers and go to the text settings. I'm changing the font style to Uthsa Bold, and the font size to around 32 to 40. Also, I'm centering all the text lines. Then, go to the line spacing and adjust it as needed. Alright, now that we've adjusted our text, let's add some color. First, select the first text layer and go to the advanced setting. This text needs to be highlighted, so I increase the text size a bit. Go to the color settings, change the color type to gradient fill, and set the first color to orange, and the second one to light red. Adjust the gradient angle to 270 degrees. You can also add more gradient points as needed. Next, go to the shadow settings. Bring down the opacity to 60 and set the blur value to 10. Click the apply button to save your changes. Now that we've customized our first text, then do the same for your other text layers. Alright guys, after customizing our text, it should look like this. Now, I want to curve my highlighted text lines. Here's how to do it. For example, select the text layer and go to the text setting. You'll see a new option called shape. So simply enable that. Now you can see what happens to our text. There are four different presets available and you can adjust the curve strength as needed. When you click the text, a circle shape appears, allowing you to manually customize the bend. Adjust it to your preference like this. We also need to add a curve to these text layers, so I'll add it like this. Alright guys, next let's add some animation to our text. Select all the layers and go to the text animation settings. For the in animation, I'm selecting this one, with a 0.5 second duration. For the out animation, I'm choosing the erase effect, with a 0.4 second duration. After adding the animations, we can add a glow effect to our text. Before doing that, we need to change these text layers into compound clips. Select your first text layer, and press Alt plus G to create a compound clip. Give it a name, and hit OK. Repeat this for the other layers. Now we can add our glow effect. But before that, I want to add a zoom in animation to these text layers. To do this, select all the text layers, go to the animation settings, and change to the preset motion. I'm adding the grow shrink animation as the zoom in effect. You can also create this animation using transitions, similar to what I showed in my previous tutorial. Next, I want to add a slow zoom movement using keyframes. Start at the beginning of your text layer and create a keyframe for the scale. Then, go to the end of the layer and increase the scale slightly, to about 120. Then open the keyframe panel, select all the keyframes, and add an ease out or curve graph to them. Repeat this for the other text layers.
Now our text looks like this. Bloody hell. You ain't your own voice, don't you? <laughs> That's a spirit champ. For the final step, let's add a glow effect. If you don't have the Boris FX glow effects, you can use alternatives like the default glow effect, color blur effect, or drop shadow as a glow effect. If you have the Boris FX effect, go to the effects tab, select Boris FX, then select plus light. Choose the BCC plus glow effect and add it to your text layer. In the effect settings, first select glow, increase the glow to 800, and change the blur X and Y to 100. Go to color correction, Change the brightness to 20 and contrast to 20. Then go to the matte settings. Bring the matte position to the center and increase the range to 100. Repeat this process for the other layers. All right guys, now our text effect is complete. Here's the result. Bloody hell. You ain't your own voice, don't ya? <laughs> that's a spirit champ. So guys, that's how you create this awesome curved text effect in Filmora, just like in After Effects. As you can see, it's pretty easy to make. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Your support really motivates me to make more exciting tutorials and edits. So thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next video.